According to accepted international jurisprudence, even if the monarchy is abolished, the royal family and its descendants may legally keep the titles and honors indefinitely. That's not only recognized by international law, but also by several sovereign countries, both monarchies and republics. The name Ghassan comes from the first Ghassanid state founded in 220 CE by His Majesty King Javna ibn Amir and comprehended parts of modern-day Syria, Jordan, Iraq, Lebanon and Saudi Arabia. Since the fall of the first state in 638 CE, the Ghassanid dynasty has ruled several other realms like the Byzantine Empire, the Rasulid Sultanate in modern-day Yemen, and the principalities of al Ahura and Skarta Zewi in modern-day Lebanon, from 1211 to 1747 CE by the Christian branch of the family and the principality of Jabal Shama, a transliteration of the surname Shmoor or Hayil in modern-day Saudi Arabia until 1921 CE by the Muslim branch. The history of the family of the sheikhs El Shamor was recently collected by the Maronite priest father Agnatius Al Khuri with a book published in 1948 in which he spoke about the ruling of the sheikhs of Al Shamor of Al Ahura in addition to their transfer to the Zewi. They ruled the region of the Zewi and spread in several villages like Kfer Hatta, Erdad, Rashin and Quito and their presence in Lebanon was due to their descent from King Jebela in al Ayam al Ghassani, the last king of the Ghassanids. The family is one of the oldest family in the, in the Arab world and uh, we were we established in al Aura. And uh, when we left Aura, we went to the north, which the, uh, we call the Zawi, and this is uh, between Tripoli and Ehdin. And we, we established ourselves in Farhata, and we stayed there since. One of the leading principalities that existed in Lebanon, of course, it pre, it's pre-Islamic, and it comes from the Hadramaut, which is today in the Yemen, and migrated over the years and established themselves first in Damascus, and became a leading principality. But over the years, because of the different uh, uh, interactions with uh, empires, whether it was the uh, Abbasids uh, or the Ottomans, they eventually settled down in the mountains of Lebanon. They were a principality, which means they were not under the control of one of the empires. They were relatively independent. And for a long period of time, they did not have to pay sums of money in order to secure their freedom. They could interact independently from the empires under which they lived.